in the name of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all of you. This topic is for the class fifth, and students, today we are going to start a new chapter. This chapter number six, animal life. Students, in this chapter we will we are going to see how do different kind of animals survive in various kinds of habitats. There are a variety of animals that live in forests, in rivers, and deserts. Students, therefore, different animals need different conditions to live. Some animals are also found in your homes. This is because different animals need different conditions and they find different areas to live. We will first of all talk about habitat. What is a habitat? Students, habitat is any area where a particular animal lives naturally. For example, fish lives in water. So water is the habitat of fish. Likewise, camel lives in desert. So desert is the habitat of a camel. So any area where a particular animal lives naturally is called as habitat. There are particularly five main types of habitats. Number first one is forests, second one deserts, third one mountains, fourth polar regions and fifth oceans and freshwater. Students, fresh water is that water which is present in rivers and lakes. So, the five kinds of habitats are forests, deserts, mountains, polar regions, oceans and fresh water. So, students, different animals have adapted different ways to protect themselves. We will read the different ways by which plants live, sorry, animals live in their habitats. You know, you know camels, they live in deserts. And in deserts, there is scarcity of water. That means water is present in deserts, but it is present in very small amounts. For that, students, camels have developed humps. These humps have the function of storing extra water and fat in them. So, at the times when there is total scarcity of water, these camels utilize that stored water and fat that is stored in the humps. Number second example of fish. Students, fish lives in water and there is present dissolved oxygen which is also less in quantity so students fish has developed a streamlined body in order to be comfortable in the water and it has developed gills that helps fish for breathing number third example of frog students frog has developed rabbit feet that help helps it to live in water Similarly, whales and turtles are the animals that have developed paddle-like limbs that help them to swim in water. So, this was the introduction of habitat and the different ways that animals have adapted to protect themselves. Now students, we will see what are the terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals are the animals that are present on land. Students, the animals that are present on land are called as terrestrial animals and terrestrial animals too have developed some special characteristics to coop up with the environment. For example, students, polar bear that is present in 
cold snowy regions camel lives in hot deserts reptile is covered by scales that is the body of the reptile is covered by scales and tortoise the body of tortoise is covered by shells this means that the terrestrial animals have undergone different kind of adaptations that make them survive in their habitats the land features are not the same everywhere on the earth so to survive in different conditions terrestrial animals have developed the characteristics that help them to cope with the extreme conditions of any place likewise aquatic animals too have done have adopted themselves in aquatic habitats that we will see later in the chapter students the largest land animal is the african elephant that's about 12 feet tall and giraffe is the tallest land animal with a height of 19 feet you will also go through your books and check these topics so that you will be more clear about them now students a homework what are the five main types of habitat what are the five main types of habitat so different animals as as we read that different animals need different kind of habitats so the question is asking you what are the five main types of habitat thank you